Hello procrastinators, money makers, also YouTubers, LazyJet here, and welcome to another Train Simulator 2017 episode, which we are brought to you with Sir Nigel Grizzly. That's right, people have been nagging me, asking me, demanding me to do this spectacular train. Um, Sir Nigel Grizzly was the, ma ma the name of the man who actually helped build or design or create this amazing, streamlining, magnificent locomotive. But you guys have been nagging me to do this train for a long time now, and here we are. Sir Nigel Grizzly, this is going to be an epic journey, and before we um, get a move on, there's loads of features inside the cab that I really like. Obviously, you can... Um, uh, I don't, actually, I don't think you can. Oh, wait, hold on. Yep, you can. See, obviously, you can uh, open the windows, which obviously I like, because that's a cool feature. But the cool feature is, is, if you open this window all the way, and if we look outside... The window is indeed open. Or if we close the window, the window is also closed. But or if you guys really want to see something cool, if you open it to halfway, the window is halfway open, which is a feature I really love. And the other feature you can have on this train is you see these um, door panel things, which is these things to stop you know drivers and you know firemen from falling out of. Hold on, let me press eight. Uh, obviously, you can see they're closed, but if we grab them and we can open them, they are now, if we look, indeed open. Or if we want to close them to halfway, uh, just close them halfway a little bit, then there we go. They are closed halfway. So, and that, so that's why I love Sir Nigel Greasy so much and the A4 cars. You could do so many cool things, so I'm just going to you know, close that to make it look cool. But uh, we are here in, uh, in a station I do not know where. But it doesn't matter because we are just going to be driving and reviewing and, you know, have fun and stuff. So let's open doors, let passengers on and off, and they just, you know, disappear. They just, like, materialise inside the, um, inside the carriages. Right, but anyway, uh, let's find out how we drive this thing because, um, actually there's not much, um, gauges here to push. So I'm guessing, um, this goes forward. Uh, do you know what, do you know what, I'm gonna have to do it the old-fashioned way. No, that's that's going backwards. Actually, we'll, we'll have to do it this way because you know it's easier. Okay, so that's brakes, wheel slip. How can we have wheel slip already? Right, we'll have the light on so you, we can see where we're going. Is the doors closed? Doors are closed, and we are ready for the set off. Here we go. Blowing whistle to let people know that I'm leaving. Whistle could have been a bit better, but never mind. Right, and here we go. Wow, here we go. Why do I always get the heebie-jeebies every time we set off in one of these amazing train simulator adventures? Is it just me or do I always get the heebie-jeebies every time we set off? Because every time we like start at a station in a new locomotive, it's like we've started a new journey or a new adventure waiting to happen. But there's a bit of a lag, obviously. No one, no one can forget the lag. But we're going to see how fast, obviously, this a magnificent train can go. And we're going to do it with pride and precision and devotion. And, of course, um, normally, like, no messing around this time, Oliver. Please, no messing around. This is a proper... This is going to be a serious episode where we're not going to be doing any messing around. Where we... Just see how fast we can get the Sun, uh, not Sun, yeah, Sir Nigel Greasley to its maximum speed. Okay, always remember to have the regulator on 33%, but I think we might need to have it a little bit lower. Oh no, 33% is perfect. Or maybe 21, 25, or maybe 20, no, 30, 33 will cut it just nicely. Oh look, and there's like, you know, there's, there's, there's cars down there which their wheels don't move, which is a glitch. Right, but we're really picking up a bit of speed. But sadly, we're not actually going that fast. We're only going 31.5 miles per hour. So actually, that's not really fast at all for a, um, a fantastic streamlined engine as good as this. Because, you know, we, we, I want to get this, like, more than... Pa pa at least past 80. That that would be amazing. Like, obviously, we could do it. But, you know, it will be quite challenging. But getting this to 100 might be a big, big ask and a big challenge. But we'll have to see... How well my driving skills are. So look, we're at 40 miles per hour already. We're at 41 already now. So you know we're sp we are speeding up, but we just need to have a bit more oomph and a bit more 
wow in this. Because don't get me wrong, I mean, I love these amazing. I mean, Sir Nigel Grizzly in the A4 class is actually one of my, one of my dad's um, favourite steam locomotive. Even though he, my dad's a pilot-ish sort of, but for a steam locomotive, this is also one of the one of the good-looking ones as well. I mean, look at this thing. I wonder how well it would look like if it had two tenders as well, like the Flying Scotsman, because that thing looked good. You know, guys, it is getting quite hot in here, so do you know what I'm going to do? I'm actually going to just open the window slightly. I might open the window on the other side as well, so we can actually get a bit of ventilation inside here. Because there you go, it's, it's a bit hot in here, and you know, you know how hot steam engines can get. So let's just open the window, or stick my head out. Let's just, there we go, stick my head out. Ah, lovely cool air. This is nice. Very relaxing. Uh very speedy how fast are we going we're traveling uphill at a ooh, very dangerous pace at 68 miles per hour <gasps> another train hello i love oh, i can't I, I know i keep saying this but i love seeing other trains in free roam because it's it's it, it makes it look more realistic and it looks like that i'm not the only train here which you know which is cool it's fun and i love it and it's just it's just amazing but the other thing i also like about this is <laughs> it's obviously this this round circle thing i can't actually read it but whatever it says it's better be something good why is it every time i do one of these trades simulator episodes i'm always speeding i mean it says here i'm or it was, the speed limit is normally 70 miles per hour but obviously i'm doing more than that right okay now it's down to 50. can this place get any more unfantastic and ungrateful Oh god, are we, we we are banking a little bit. Oh god, that is a serious amount of bank. So look, the speed limit is now 50 miles per hour and now I'm doing 80. Dream on. I'm not doing the speed limit now, boys. We are trying to... Well, obviously, we're past 80, which is something I actually wanted to do. I wanted to get past 80. And, we've, and look, we've just done... Can we get? Can we actually get to 100? Let's, I wonder how fast we can actually get this amazing locomotive. We've got this long line stretch of straight, which is good. So, you know, if we come to any corners, then we won't fall over like we did with um, Flying Scotsman. Because we, when we, last time I drove Flying Scotsman, actually the last time I drove Flying Scotsman, was actually quite well. I think it was the first time I drove Flying Scotsman. It was the very first train simulator episode I've ever done. And actually, I did actually make a mess of that. Because that, that was actually a, a pretty bad moment when I um, got Flying Scotsman rolled off the tracks. And you know, it was it, w it was very bad. But this, I don't think that that's going to happen because you know we're, it's a big long straight of straight, and n so far nothing dangerous or scary has ever happened so far. I mean, the most scariest thing I've ever done with Train Simulator is where I was driving the Polo. Well, not, it, was, it wasn't the Polo Express, but we're going to call it the Polo Express anyway. And I drove it through a tunnel, and it just that went absolutely flying. I mean, I had no idea how that happened, but. It was still quite amazing, I have to admit, but quite scary as well. Right, so we're doing 85.1 miles per hour. Serious amount of lag as well, which is quite bad. But I'm confident that we will break, um, we'll get past 90. But I, I, I still remain confident, and you should too. Well, we're in a tunnel right now. I hate tunnels. Tunnels are the most boring, the most useless things ever and the reason why is because I cannot see where I'm going at all but we are doing 87.0 miles per hour which we're only 3 miles per hour closer to 90 which is quite amazing actually but oh well at least we've got, we've got the big fireplace to light the way I guess but you know still I can't see where I'm going at all and what the hell is that belling noise? I keep heading that belling noise. Ah, here we go, the end of the tunnel. Oh no, there's another one. Oh, for God's sake. Why is there so many tunnels? Tunnels are useless. They're not rabbit holes. Or mole holes or anything. Tunnels should not exist. Tunnels should just be nothingness. What? Because, well look at it. I mean, it's boring. I don't want to review. Actually, no, no, let's do it. Hello everyone, I'm Oliver Smith Meyer and we're inside the uh, Sinatra Cruise. These head you can't see because we're in a tunnel and we can't go outside of the tunnel because this game is a bit useless when it comes to tunnels. So, you know, all you can see is the fireplace and that's it. But in the meantime, why don't we have a go on its magnificent whistle? Oh, and suddenly you can't hear the whistle, it's because that uh, the loudness inside 
the um, what do you call it? The inside of a train. Um, the cab. There we go. The cab. That's it. That's it. The pilots. The pilots for aircraft. They call it cockpits. Don't know why. Do not ask. And ah, finally, the outside. Whoa! No! 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 Oh my God! Not again! Well, there goes Sir uh, Nigel Greasley. That that went well. Wow. There we go. I wasn't expecting that. Never mind everyone, I started all over again and we are making cracking progress. Look, 88.4 miles, oh no, 0.5 miles per hour. But sadly, this is the tunnel where we crashed. So what we're going to do is we're going to slow down. And this time we're going to go in this position so we can see where I'm going. So as you can see, there's a, a long line of tunnel. And look, obviously, you know, we're losing speed, which is a shame because we were doing so well. Yep, see, look, there's the warning sign. This warning sign telling me to, to like there's danger up ahead. It's like a sharp turn. I need to slow down, and that is uh, what we're going to be doing uh, when we get to the next tunnel, which is over there, because there was a tiny gap. Um, but you know, you know, so I, I, I do apologise that we uh, derailed. See, this is the thing about me. Like as I said, when I first play, tried the flying Scotsman with the two tenders, sadly that derailed. I was going a bit too fast, but. Now I did it with Sir Nigel Grizzly, but this time we're going to slow down and, as I said, we're going to do this properly. Um, so, we're, we're, don't worry, we're coming up to the second part of the tunnel. There we go, you see. Right, now we can start making our deceleration. Or decel, I don't know. Um, but we have to get it under 70 miles per hour. So, we're going to put a little bit of um, power on. And we'll have... Um, Yep, did the um, regulated on minus 33%. See, we're, like, we're losing speed, which is good, but let's... Right, now we can um, have that on normal now, so we'll just have to wait to the end of the tunnel, which is quite a long way away, which uh, I'll, uh, I'll skip it. Well, this is it, guys. Sorry for the bit of lag, but you know, there's another train there. Hello, Mr. Train, but we need to slow down quite badly. Oh, my God. God, that was close. We are still going way too fast. The speed limit is 15 miles per hour, and we're still going way too fast. Oh, God. Careful. Don't. Come on, Oliver. Don't wreck it again. Here we go. Don't wreck it. Don't wreck it. There we go. Right, we're under speed now. There we go. Perfect. Well, we've we, we've lost out of all that. We've lost so much speed, which is a shame. But never mind, never mind, because we're still safe. So Nigel easily is saved this time, which is good. And actually, there's one question that I need to ask you, lot people. Where the hell am I? Because this doesn't look very London-ish. Um, there's another train. Hello, Mr. Train. Blow my whistle for him, because it's friendly. But where the hell am I, and where am I going? Because this actually looks very... This place looks very nice, actually. Well, for some reason, all of a sudden, this just appeared out of nowhere, and it says I've just reached my destination. Well, that sucks. Out of all that time I saved the... 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 the Sir Nigel Grizzly. Sorry, I forgot the name. Out of all that, I've just reached my destination, and that's it. Fantastic. Well, thanks for watching, everyone. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, follow me on Twitter and Instagram. As I said, links are in the description. And if you guys did like this video, then, you know, click that like button. But if you hate this video, then don't forget to dislike. But see you guys next time in another Train Simulator episode. See you then. And remember, stay cool, my friends.